Cincinnati Castle and I'm totaling up the results for the Tops Challenge. Oh yeah, I think you're going to like this. I'm doing the math, but hey, stick around. All you got to do right now, you know you got to do, you got to watch. This is not as easy as you think it is. Well, it maybe it is. Okay. We had a challenge. First time we did this in years. We had a little challenge, and I asked you if we would, you would kindly go to your shop and turn some finger tops. Part of the deal was to get you to start using your tools for a little bit more exacting work, learn how to do color embellishment, tool embellishment, decorations, ornamentation, and then when you get all done, give your toys away to somebody deserving. A kid. Well, we got a great response. I screwed up yesterday. I said we had 80 entries. It was 93. And because we had to go through all the videos today and all the all the mail. Some of the pictures didn't make it onto the website because they came in a format that I could put them into one format for the judges to see, but I couldn't convert them to a, another. It's a technical thing. Could, couldn't make them work into the video. It's too too dense or too heavy or whatever they call it. But hey, you, you've seen you've seen most of them. Fortunately, you did see the top three. Now, let me get to this. The number one top piece is this ship's wheel done by W. H. Selinger. Selinger, yes. He did two tops, sort of like this. One had the spokes. One had a hub and some things. The spokes came out, but the hub was really in the top five or so of all the tops they did. That was probably the most work I've seen in a finger top ever. Really beautiful work, great detail. When you spend this top, I mean, just imagine how it's going to blow out on you. It's going to really be cool. So that was first place. Second place went to Freddie Bean. Now, Freddie Bean had. 25 or 30 entries into the competition challenge. He did. Freddie did all kinds of tops and finger things and gave them away and shared them with people and all. But he showed you that you can spend, you can do something simple with simple tools, embellish them and color them and come out with something really nifty. Now he bombarded me with pictures. I mean, he had probably, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, I don't know pictures in this challenge, but they were all beautiful work, and it's something you can aspire to and believe in, uh, it's really nice work. And then the third place, this is not the guy that turned the most tops, but I have a picture of a thousand tops he turned, I, he said it's not quite a thousand, tops he turned and gave away to a group in his hometown, way up there in the northwest. Uh, in, in Washington State. Ron Radliff, no Air Force buddy of mine. Yeah, Ron came in, now he had this, I, my, my judges called him five colored. Look at this. This is five. Ron would be nice. Simple tops. Ron would still be nice with some excellent basic colors on them. So they all look good. Now there you had it. First, second, and third place in a tops challenge. Yeah, I'm working on getting the packages and all that. I think I got all the names and addresses. But hey, if you can, give me a drop me a note. Freddie Beam, W. A. Sell, Sell, Sellinger, and Ron, the outlaw ride lift. Uh, but I'd like to get the prizes up to you in the next week or so. Uh, we will get we'll get them together. Call a little help for management. And give them away a company. Um, Get part of my case. You know, the only way, reason I can do this is because of you. You buy from Big Guy Productions. You buy cutters, templates, bars. I got a whole list here of things you buy from Big Guy Productions. That keeps our operation going. Well, it's her operation, not since I got sick. It's not mine, but it keeps the operation going. So here, I get bold and I say I'm going to give the stuff away. Well, it's not mine. It's hers. Yes, and that's how it works. It's hers. So, if you buy from us, I appreciate it. If you support us, I appreciate it. If you just watch us, I appreciate it. But, we're going to keep doing this. i got to tell you, in one minute, 
One minute, did you give me a little time to, to refresh about upcoming things? Interesting. All right. Just when you thought you heard it all, then you hear another bang. Um, but hey, we have another challenge ongoing right now. It's Freedom Pen Challenge. You turn a pen, and I guarantee you, personally guarantee you, it will get into the hands of a United States military member. That's it. Active duty military member. I can guarantee it. I don't care what shape the pen is. It's your best work, and I want it. But don't worry about the kit, trim line, slim line, bullet, bullet, bullet and all. None of that matters. What matters is you turn something from your shop, and you give it to people protecting our freedom. That's what this is all about. You mail them to me, if I get them by postmarked by midnight on Labor Day 2018, you're in the challenge. Now, every pen in the challenge gets a chance at the grand prize. And I'm still moving, I mean, uh, 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 getting those grand prizes put together. Uh, a boss kind of got on me. i got to ask some other friends to help me. So I've asked some other friends. Uh, and I'm going to get some other prizes together for you. So it would be worthwhile. But you know what's worthwhile? What's worthwhile is the fact that you've done something in your shop, in your spare time, with your talent, to benefit the young men and women who protect our way of life. I'm not a millennial. I, I'm a millennial. I do not believe that that just happens. No, these are people dedicated. These young men and women are dedicated to what they do. I want to pay them back and thank them for their dedication. I've been there. Most of you have been there. You know what it means. So let's get it done. Oh, I said I'm going to go to somebody and ask for something. I did. The other day I got an email from an old friend. Y'all know the lady. Her name is Ruth Niles. Ruth Niles. Ruth came out with a new toy. Should I call it a toy? It's, uh, but it's not a bottle stopper. You see, Ruth does some of the most awesome bottle stoppers in the world. She got one here, a whiskey jar stopper with one, two, three, four, five old rings in its brass. Yeah, that's nice. But then, then Ruth came up with this beer bottle opener. I might have to go buy a bottle of beer to try this thing out. But I'll show it to you a little bit closer when we do the video. Nice. And then, we were talking last year at SWAT, and I said, I need to get something where you can pop that lid off those Coke cans, because um, my wife complains it breaks her nails, or i got to get a spoon, and you can wash this. All right, you know what I'm talking about. Well, they have one. They have a popper. Well, they have two of them. Two poppers here. They're the same thing? Yes, they're the same thing. And they're made for lifting up those tabs on Coke cans. So all this came from my friend at Ruth Niles. And Ruth will contribute some items, contribute some items to the main prize, the grand prize for Freedom Pen Challenge. If you want more information about the Freedom Pen Challenge, all you need to do is go to rules and write up. Do I have it right this time? Don't move. Yep, that's it. Okay. You go to that website and you'll see the rules to the Freedom Pen Challenge. And I guarantee you, this one's going to work. I got bunches and bunches of pens over the last couple of days. And I heard from Mike, who said that uh, he didn't mean to threaten y'all by telling you put your plays away. But Mike said he'll cut back a little bit and y'all go ahead and turn the bins and beat it up. I think it's okay with that me. All right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. I'm outside the shop in the cool, making shavings. Take care. Be good.